Welcome to Spear oh, Forest. Todd's going to teach me how to cut oh, a tree down here. with a chainsaw my first okay. time. My mom is supporting me on this adventure and she's done this by buying me this Echo chainsaw, my first chainsaw ever. She got it at Home Depot. My mom used to work at Home Depot and she said, this is the best one. This is the one that you're getting. So here she is. Can I record you reading directions? No. <laughs> As Todd reads the manual, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not nervous. I know he knows what he's doing. I am going to go and mark some trees. Still a little bit of snow on the ground, um, but there's definitely areas where there's, the snow is starting to melt. It is February, so I do know it's going to continue to snow, but we feel it's a nice warm weekend. So we're gonna we're gonna cut some of these dead trees down. These are around where the tent is at. So we need to get them down before we start the tent. And just so you know, the tent area will be right around here. You kind of see some pink over here and some pink way at the back there. That's about the size of where the tent area is gonna be. Mendes and I are marking all the trees that are dead that need to be cut down. Again, these trees are really tall and if the wind blows really hard, they're gonna fall over. I'm actually in an area that there's not a lot of wind and so that's why these trees are just staying there, but there's really dangerous if they were to fall over on the tent. So we need to mark them and cut them down. Word of advice, when you bring a brand new tool about 70 miles from your house, you should probably take it out of the box first, test it, make sure it works before you bring it up to the land. So yes, we can't get it to work. I don't know what the issue is and I'm kind of leaving it up to him, but he's been trying it for the last half hour. If I've learned anything from dating a man, it is when there's a tool that is broken or does not work, it is best for me to walk away from the man. And so that's what I'm doing here. I am tying more ribbons on trees, keeping myself occupied and giving him his space that he needs. He must have figured it out. I hear a chainsaw. I'm going up to him. I bet he's so excited. You're scary. It doesn't scare him at all. You're gonna do about a 70 degree wedge. Okay. All right. So, I usually go the top first, and then the bottom. Um, when you do the bottom, uh -huh. it's actually easier to use the top of the blade. Why? Instead of trying to turn the saw over. Oh, yeah. Okay, just use the top and yep. go up. Okay. But I always keep two hands on the saw. Okay. And more importantly, I always keep one hand right here. Okay. In this, because if the blade kicks back, then this hand will cause that thing to lock and the blade will stop. Oh, so is you, that how you turn it off? No, you turn it off right here. So this is the off. But here, I'll show you. When you turn this on and that's forward. Oh, okay. So, this little thing is a chain brick. So it's there just in case the chain kicks back or the saw kicks back. So it stops the blade. Oh, but okay. it only works if your hand's right here. Okay. Because it has to hit your hand. Okay. All right? Got it. So you're going to cut underneath here and down there and try to make that wedge. 
and then you're going to come into the back side and cut it here. And you don't have to cut it all the way through, you just cut until it starts to go. Okay. Alright? Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, do I look nerdy enough? Yep, totally. I can't hear anything. Do I just flip something? Do I flip yep. it? Flip that. And then this? Yep. Beside the tree, like that. Yep. How do I get to it? Then? You gotta angle the saw. Like this. Yep. Is that it? Okay. Now do the under one, the lower one. What? Go up. And now go up. On that tree, probably. <laughs> All right, next time though, as soon as you start seeing the 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 tree move, yeah. back the blade out. Oh. Okay, don't leave the blade in there while the tree's falling. Well, you didn't say that in your instructions. Okay. Failure to communicate. <laughs> On your part. <laughs> Look at you, you get all Perfect. happy. <laughs> you get all happy. <laughs> you right where it was supposed to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot of, that's a lot of logs to cut. I can push it? Yeah. No, not that way. Get on this side, push that way. <coughs> you don't want to push it on top of me. What am I doing? Okay. I didn't cut push. it all the way because he told me not to. Right. Tree. Push. Which way? This way, right? Yeah. Timber! Maybe. All right. oh, coming to you. There you go. 
Yay! It's down. Today, I'm going to teach some crazy women how to cut trees down and not cut off their legs. What? <laughs> there. <laughs> Welcome to Spirit Forest. Today, I'm teaching a bunch of women, well, some of them girls, how to cut trees down. <laughs> it's not going so good. What? It's going just fine. What are you talking Actually, about? I cut a tree down. I didn't get hit. What is this? I just want to call out a special thanks to Todd. Todd, thank you so much for helping me out. It's my first time and I really enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more videos coming up. Thank you.